Hi, I'm Alex. Some of you may know me as Puzzle Pathologist. I am here today reviewing a puzzle from La Puz for completing the puzzle. Completing the puzzle is the largest online rental puzzle subscription service. La Puz is a puzzle company that features artwork and photographs from artists and from their own studio that feature really unique topics such as this one called Wet Paint. This puzzle that I'll be reviewing today is a thousand pieces and it has, as the title says, wet paint in the image. Um, I have always really loved art and I'm a really creative person so I really like that this puzzle speaks to that part of me a little bit. La Puz has a lot of fun features to their box. So as you can see here, there is a really large, really clear image of the puzzle on the front of the box. On the back of the box, each puzzle or each box for each puzzle has different games, activities, facts, and information that you can read. It reminds me a little bit of a cereal box and how they had games when I would be eating cereal growing up. And what's great about these is that all of the games that they have on the back can be completed using a dry erase marker. So you can draw on this one, you can doodle on this one, and then erase it so you can enjoy it multiple times. For the puzzles that are completed and designed by artists, they have details about the artists on the back for a lot of those too, which I think is really great. They really highlight and share about the artists that they use for their puzzles. Another feature I like about their puzzle boxes is that on one side, you can see here it has has text and the title of the brand, where the other side of the box has a stretched out image of the artwork. So when it comes to storing the puzzle on your puzzle shelf, you can choose to store it with the artwork or with the title, which gives a lot of variety for storing the puzzle. With La Puz, they have puzzles that are 500 pieces and 1,000 pieces, and now with their mini puzzles that are just 81 pieces. And with the 500 and the 1,000 piece puzzles, the box size is the exact same, so that also adds a lot of like continuity when you are storing the puzzle on your puzzle shelf too. Inside of the puzzle box, you have this fun little checkerboard pattern. So not a lot of brands put any thought into what the inside of the box looks like, but that is something that La Puz definitely does. Um, and then here it says, good luck. And then inside our box, we have this very vibrant, very bright, resealable plastic bag with all of our puzzle pieces. My first thought about these puzzle pieces is they're not as thick as some brands, but they don't feel poor quality. They feel very sturdy. Um, and I really love the cuts in it and the, the way that the pieces feel is really nice. Um, another fun thing is that the back of the puzzle pieces are purple, you can see here. I believe that the different puzzles have different colors on the back, so not everyone would be purple. You might get pink or yellow or a different color, so I think that's a really creative way to add fun color. They have really fun, unique, random cut pieces, so it reminds me a little bit of the Springbok cut but the pieces definitely feel different than Springbok. They just have that really fun, quirky, curvy, fun little pieces to them. And if you go to their Instagram, they've even named some of these puzzle pieces. I think there's one called a caterpillar um, and it looks like it has a bunch of legs. So we'll see if we can find one like that while I'm going through the puzzle. One detail I didn't mention too, is that in the box, there is this very large puzzle image printout poster as you may like to call it so i mean this would be really cool to reference it's probably almost the exact size of the puzzle but also you could hang it up and use it as a poster in your home which is really cool um, and on the back it has their logo again all right we've got the puzzle sorted out it was actually easier to sort than I expected. Because I have these colorful trays, I just sorted the colors into the corresponding trays and just picked whatever color was the primary color on that puzzle piece. So it went a lot faster than I expected. So I'm really glad I had these colorful trays to help with the sorting. One thing that will probably happen is I'll either have too many or not enough edge pieces. I'm not very good at sorting when it comes to these random cut puzzles with my spray 
Springbok puzzles, I always end up with extra edges that don't actually fit in, or I might be missing one or two edge pieces that I overlooked because there are a few that are hard to tell. You do have some pieces that are pretty obvious that they're edge pieces, but then there are also some that look like they could be an edge piece and it's really hard to tell. So to be on the safe side, I always put them with my edge pile if it looks like an edge piece. So we will put together the edges and see if I missed any or if I got them all in my first try. But so far, I'm really happy with the design of the puzzles and how sturdy they feel, even though they're a little bit thinner. And I just, I don't know, I'm really excited to put it together. And I will be showing you the first puzzle piece assemble that I will do because that is my favorite part. So let's get started. When you're doing a puzzle, you never know what the fit's gonna be like. So those first two pieces is always the most exciting for me. So we have two edge pieces here that I'm gonna put together. All right, so that's a pretty snug fit. You can tell the puzzle piece don't wiggle around a lot and they do stay together pretty well if you lift them up. It's not like a perfect seal, but it's actually like really stronger than other brands. And I'm interested to see how you can transport multiple pieces put together in a section. And there it is. Just like that, the puzzle is done. This puzzle was more challenging than I expected. I thought that the variety of colors would make it easy to locate, but because the tones of the reds and the greens and the blues are all very similar, it ended up being a little bit more challenging because you had to figure out which red section it went to or which yellow section it went to but I do love a good challenge. The pieces overall, I really enjoyed the way that they felt. They're really lightweight and thin in a sense, but they feel very sturdy. As I mentioned earlier, the piece cuts remind me a lot of a Springbok puzzle. They have a lot of random shapes. They have some that are just really tiny that sliver in between. So that adds another layer of difficulty to the puzzles. I really liked the image on here and the amount of detail. So even though there were a lot of the same colors, you could find little details in them that would make it easier to identify where the puzzle would go. So in terms of moving the pieces together, I found that they were really hard to relocate in a group. So if you have maybe two together, you might be able to relocate them together. But if I tried to move together a bigger group of puzzle pieces, they fell apart. So this would be one where you'd want some kind of tool to help you move a group of pieces. So you could use like a spatula some people use. I have a puzzle scoop that I'll use, or you can use paper, card cardboard, whatever you found that works to help relocate those puzzle pieces. So that was one downside to the puzzle, uh, but otherwise I really enjoyed the experience. All in all, I think that La Puzz is a puzzle brand that I would definitely recommend. If you are purchasing one of their puzzles, they are a little bit more expensive expensive, but that is because they take so much care into picking out quality products for their puzzle from using their own cuts and designs of piece shapes to using unicycled board and having the reusable bag included, a really large poster included, and all the creativity they put into their puzzle box. That's all going to cost money. So it makes sense why they are a higher price point. However, they do have sales every now and then. And if you are a subscriber of completing the puzzle, or if if you want to try out puzzles before you actually purchase them, completing the puzzle is a great opportunity. When you sign up for a membership with completing the puzzle, you can now add the puzzles they have available from La Puzz to your catalog and your wish list so that when you get your next puzzle in the mail from them, it could be a La Puzz puzzle. And then you can try it out for yourself before deciding to purchase one for your permanent collection. That is a great thing that I love about completing the puzzle. And I'm so excited to see that they're adding a lot more brands that maybe aren't as popular outside of the social media world and definitely deserve recognition and are a great puzzle to try before you purchase because they are in a higher price point. But after doing this puzzle, you're definitely going to get the quality that you're paying for, which is really great. Um, I will be doing a blog post about this puzzle as well. So you can keep an eye out for that on the completing the puzzle blog page. If you want any more information about La Puzz, you can check it out on their website or on their Instagram page as well. They post a lot of fun content on there and on their TikTok. So you can check out La Puzz as well to get updates about any sales that they're having and any new puzzles that they're releasing. Um, I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and happy puzzling.